yes uh, this is a session for uh, <coughs> discussing uh, discussing the pattern for class 11 2021 rational exercise syllabus and then curriculum so we have to see that english score code number 301 class 11 and uh, question paper discussion so our question paper for 11th standard even 12th standard also we have a new pattern for 2021 that means in a part a and part b so we have a general for we had one you know in the last year also we had a formula that means section a reading section b writing and section c literature but this time this is somewhat you know different so you are also going to have two parts like objective and subjective you know what is the meaning objective and what is the meaning subjective so part a purely related to objective and part b related to subjective so our question paper 11th standard question paper for 80 marks our 11th standard question paper for 80 marks can be divided into two parts so part a objective for 40 marks objective for 40 marks you can also see that first one is reading section reading section reading section you can see that question number one for part a 40 marks question number one from reading section so first question number one multiple choice question that means you know there will be a passage for 10 marks and you have to read and understand the passage that is known as comprehension passage comprehension means comprehend um, comprehend that is a verb comprehend means understanding and understanding so comprehension passage means understanding passage so multiple choice questions based on one unseen passage you know what is the meaning unseen so unseen passage to assess comprehension interpretation and information you know what is the meaning interpretation and of course inference right vocabulary and uh, inference analysis of meaning will also be assessed the passage may be factual or descriptive or literary may be factual or descriptive or literary passage and 10 out of 11 questions to be assessed that means done so you will also get an internal choice one mark internal choice that means out of 11 you have to some of them are even writing 11 also because you know they are thinking that okay which is right they will take not like that you have to write only 10 question number one for only 10 marks you understand that question number one option one two that means a to like one to ten like they will take the 11th one they will really teach them. so that you can write only 10 based on your understanding of the above mentioned the passage so multiple choice questions mcqs mcqs only so options will be there so maybe you can get a b c d r from a letter one two three four so there will be a passage and then based on that questions will be there and options will be there you have to choose you have to choose the most appropriate right so question number one for 10 marks and question number two another passage so multiple choice questions based on one unseen case based to factual passage with verbal or visible inputs like statistical data or charts and so on eight out of nine questions to be done so question number two in the sense in the part a that is also a small passage for comprehension understanding case based and out of nine you have to write only eight you understand so total 18 marks so reading section total 18 marks one question number one ten and question number two eight marks note the combined word limit for both the passage will be 600 plus 750 that means you know you will receive only small passages so maximum overall combined question number one and two together you will get around 750 750 words 600 to 750 words that's all then second one is question number three question number three is based on your uh, grammar part so we have already taught that and of course we have given the revision like uh, determiners and tenses question number three that is also mcq so multiple choice questions on gap filling you know how to uh, fill your gaps like you know based on the given topics like tasks so determiners you know what is the meaning determiners and of course tenses also everything you have discussed so determiners and tenses so determiners you can take part of that you can also revise based on that gap filling question number uh, three for eight uh, four marks so to overall uh, eight marks for grammar part and then question number uh, three for four marks question number four for four marks so gap filling it is very easy and overall as a practice question number four multiple choice questions on reordering or transformation of the sentences reordering or rearranging them reordering we should know that SVO patterns like SVO, then subject word, object, complement, and adjunct, everything. We should know that. Then only we can also write the correct appropriate options. We can choose them. So, question number one, uh, 10 mark passage. Question number two, eight marks passage. Question number three, four marks gap filling from determiners and tenses. Question number four, uh, MCQs on reordering or 
transformation of the sentences. That means you know, we have to change means into another part transformation of the sentences. So total eight questions to be done out of ten given. So internal choice also will be there. Two questions, two questions for internal choice. Question number four, uh, three and four. Then question number five. So four we have completed from the grammar part. Next one is literature section. So literature section. Question number five. Question number five, multiple choice questions from an extract. You know, what is the meaning extract? So appreciation question, you have to concentrate. So multiple choice questions from an extract, from poetry, from handbook to access. Comprehension and appreciation. That means any one out of two exams to be done for three marks. So you have to remember that for three marks, question number five, extract from poetry. So we have uh, only a photograph, labanum talk, was it the rain and child. So out of four poems, Two poems will be there. You have to choose one. You understand that? Common. It is like you know. No. Generally, we have only four poems in eleventh standard. This is what I mean. So out of four, only two poems extra in our question paper. We have to choose either or. That's why any one out of two extra to be done for three months. You understand that? For that, you have to go through. You have to go. You have. You have to go through and get an idea. All the poems. Uh, name of the poem, name of the poet, a uh, poetess, and all the poetic devices, figures of speech, and everything you have to go through and get an idea. Now, the question number six multiple choice questions, please done. Two pros extracts, two pro pros extracts out of three given. That means you know, internal choice one. So, we need to write three, two out of two given pros extracts. So, up to that, we have experience like only poem extract, and this time we are receiving pros extracts. So out of three given from the pros, handball as well as snapchat. So my suggestion is two extra, two pros extra from your handball, one extra from your snapshot session. So out of three, you have to write only two. Three plus three, total six marks to assess comprehension and appreciation. You know what is the meaning? Comprehension and appreciation, understanding and analysis. We need to appreciate the questions like. So question number six for prose extract from both text book question number seven and question number seven text based multiple choice questions that is extract you understand that poetic lines will be there prose lines will be there based on that questions will be asked but here question number question number seven text based textual questions textual questions will be there that means that is also multiple that's why it is purely known as Objective. Part A means objective. Part B means subjective. We need to write. But in objective, we need to choose. You understand that? Choice. Choices are yours. So question number seven. Text-based multiple choice questions. MCQ to assess comprehension, analysis, and interpretation from the poet, prose and poetry. So five questions out of six to be done. So you can also prose or poetry. So total uh, uh, five questions. Uh, total eight. Uh, out of eight, you have to choose five. So question number seven for five marks, textual questions, MCQs from your pros and points. You understand that? So question number one for reading passage, 10 marks. Question number two, reading passage, comprehension passage for eight marks. Question number three, that means you know, four marks from uh, determiners and tenses, gap filling. Question number four, determiners and tenses. Reordering of the sentence or transformation of the sentences. Question number five, uh, uh, extract mcqs for three sure. months. question number six yes sir question number six uh, mcqs that means you know, multiple choice questions mcqs from prose extracts uh, of course both text and question number seven text uh, that is also mcqs that is known as textual questions that is known as textual questions yes sir so part a we have completed that means in you know, objective party objective we have completed now part b subjective you should concentrate this is very important part to be in your question paper this is the way whatever i am just you know discussing with you same pattern you will also receive in your question paper you understand that so part to be of the subjective for 40 marks 40 marks we have already discussed now remaining 40 then for part b question number one from your reading section so uh, note making and summarization already we discussed and we also shared the format and everything even example exercise questions and everything now you can see that part b question number one from your reading section that means note making and summarization based on a passage of approximately 
200 to 250 that means a very limited very limited even even last week also you know you have written uh, written a test based on even note making and summarization so you can see that very small passage 200 to 250 words and then uh, it can be divided into two that means you know five plus three five marks for your note making and then three marks for your summarization summary writing so what are the things over there in the note making so note making we have to follow title and the numbering and uh, the thing. key are glossary then notes key key that means in abbreviations key key are expensive for uh, ab uh, abbreviations and then notes so all the things so five marks you have to concentrate note making and then whatever the system whatever the format we have uh, taught and revised you have to follow that that means you know uh, you have to go for decimal format in the decimal format you can go for that means you know topic section main section subsection sub subsection and you can do a framework and you have to write the based on your understanding of the passage you need to prepare a topic you need to choose a topic a title for your notes and then what are the essential things what are the things are very important based on that you have to prepare your notes notes should not be a complete sentence or should not be a single sentence it is like a notes you have to prepare you understand that this is a system we discussed right and then uh, after completing your note making then you can go for summary writing or summarization for up to 50 words this is what I already told you you know 30 to 40 words means two months and then you can go for 50 words means three months and that is also content and of course expression and then topic for one month so total three months you also can concentrate on that so question number one in part b for eight marks that means five plus three five for uh, note making and three for your summarization then question number two in part b from your writing session this is what we have completed right short writing task notice short writing task first question number two notice writing or we can go for advertisement classified advertisements or we can go for this uh, display advertisement hello sir are you all getting my point are you all hearing me hello yes you can yes, listen yes you can listen that so question number question number two short yes, writing sir. task notice writing up to 50 words this is only for three marks so short composition uh, one out of the two given questions to be answered either notice or advertisement so please concentrate on that and you can also follow the formats which is start and then uh, instructions and the systematic ideas everything even you know that is like you know uh, for an example format one mark and content one marks expression one mark expression is very important that means you know one half marks for your uh, fluency and half mark for your accuracy and grammatical accuracy is very important when you are writing that and sentence format and syntax and everything you please concentrate and you can also make it uh, for three marks question number two question number three uh, short writing task from post so poster making you you know very well notice writing even advertisement and now for post writing post writing format and everything we discussed with you we shared the material and everything you can also follow for three marks one out of two given questions to be answered that is also same format so format one marks content one marks expression one marks. so notice writing advertisement post making for question number three and question number four in Part B. Question number four in part B. Question number four, four part B. Uh, let us based. You know very well what are the things of the business or official or letters to the school or college authorities. You please don't want to get ready with uh, uh, letters to the editor and uh, your uh, job publication. And those things were deleted recently for only it is temporarily, you know, deleted. That means you know, just the ages we took. So let us based on verbal or visual input to be answered in 120 to 1 words for five marks business or official letters that means you know for making inquiries we are inquiring that making inquiries and are we are making registering complaints we are also registering complaints are asking or giving information we are asking some information or giving information for asked one you know that's why it is clearly mentioned that business or official letter you know what is the meaning business letter very formal letter we are only discussing discussing formal letter so business letters are official you know what is the meaning official we have to speak officially in a sense very properly very formally we need to speak so business or official letters for making inquiries registering complaints asking information or giving information what is asked 
Uh, somewhere we are pla- placing orders, sending replies, somewhere cancelling the orders. So placing orders or cancelling orders, sending replies. This is very important. You understand? Official or business letter. And somewhere we are also writing official letters. Letters to the school or college authorities. Somewhere we are also writing letters to the principal, letters to the president, letters to the even uh, secretary we are writing that, right? The management we are writing. Uh, somewhere we are, you know, to the officials we are writing. That's why letters to the school or college authorities regarding admissions. Admissions or school issues or requirements or suitability of the person. These are all very important. For 11th standard students, if there is something, it's like a cake walk or piece of cake. Like you can easily do that. So one out of the two given questions to be answered for five marks, format one marks, content two marks, expression two marks. So content is very important. You have to concentrate on the content that should be directed. You understand that your direct answer should be mentioned in the letter writing. You have to follow the format. Very formal writing you need to write. Whenever you are writing the receiver's address, that means you know you need to use a definite article. The, the principal, the secretary, the president, like you need to mention. You understand that? So for five marks, only business or official letters will be. Letters to the school or college authorities will be mentioned. Question number four, asked. You can choose either or and write. Internal choice also will be there. Question number five. Question number five. Writing composition based on visual or verbal inputs in 120 to 140 words may be descriptive or argumentative in nature, such as a speech or debate. Already told you very clearly. Question number five in part B, you will be given either speech or debate. Two things will be there. You can choose what is your favorite. You can go for speech, you can go for debate. The speech in the sense normal, your preparation you can also mention. When you are choosing debate in the sense, you have to go for argumentative. You understand that speech means descriptive and argument argumentative in the sense debate you need to argue you need to include your arguments that means opposition will be there so you have to do an analysis and you can go far you know showing your you know things likewise the theme should be contemporary contemporary in the sense current appears so the theme should be contemporary topical uh, issues out of the two given questions to be one, one questions to be answered one one to be answered like the same format because 120 to 150 words that's why it is also considered uh, <coughs> a long composition question number uh, five uh, format one mark content one two marks and expression two marks that's all so question number one not making and summarization question number two advertisement or notice writer question number three your post making question number four your letters and question number five your speech or debate you understand that question number six now we are going six number question number six from literature section you have to concentrate on that two question number six two short answer type questions two short answers answer, answer type questions one from prose one from poet you need to choose and write from the book on the out of four four will be there you have to choose one question from your prose another question another one from your poetry from the book on the out of four to be answered in 30 to 40 words that's why i mentioned that this two more questions 30 to 40 words so questions to be elicited Inter- inferential responses through critical thinking critical thing of course you know based on the plot you are, we are writing the answers limited sense but anyhow error free writing is appreciated right? you can also follow error free writing ideas please be concerned uh, please concentrate on that right and question number seven now you can see that one short answer type questions from your pro snapshot so two things two two questions from your on bill one question from your snapshot so totally Three two marks, three into two six marks. You can see that one short answer, short answer type questions from prose snapshot to be answered in forty to fifty words. Question should elicit inferential responses through critical thinking. Any one out of the two questions to be done. So one into two two or two into one. You know to write. You can also see. Question number eight long answers. Question number nine long answers. You understand that? It was already extract also from later. So question number eight one long answer type questions from your prose or poetry. Poetry, please underline that. Please underline. Long answers. Generally, they are asking only in uh, prose lessons now. They are also including poetry. So, one long answer type questions from prose or poetry, hornbill lessons. Hornbill lessons from the hornbill textbook only. To be answered in 120 to 150 words versus global comprehension. You know, entire, entire. That means, you know, central idea and extrapolation, explanation beyond the text. That means, based on the text, we are writing. A situation like questions. Questions to be provide elu- evaluative and analytical responses using incidents, events, things as reference points. 
any one out of two questions could be maybe one question from your uh, photograph and another question from your discovering that or one question from your uh, voice of the rain and another question from your alien planet anything you can choose and write question number nine like why is your smart choice you understand that two questions will be from maybe from summer of the beautiful writers and andres or you can be from wanda's marriage or albert einstein school or birth you understand that you have to choose and you can write these are all very important when you are so question paper can be divided into two part a objective part b subjective part a one to seven part b one to nine right deleted portions topics this is what I already told you classic advertisements deleted so you can have only display advertisements or commercial or general advertisements let us do the editor and and uh, the job publication two things are deleted and article writing and report writing are deleted narrative also is deleted so you don't have to worry about all those things grammar uh, models and classes change of voice error correction editing task close passages everything is deleted you go for gap filling and of course reordering or transformation of the sentences from your tenses and uh, literatures and literature in hornbill fall to send and adventure two things are deleted and snapshot also the gear of the only one and the tale of the massive Right, sir? And you can also follow Hornbill and Snapshot. Remaining, we will discuss it.